Hi, welcome back to PSL Living. I'm Jenny Gro, and Rita Hart from the Humane Society of St. Lucie County is here with us today for our Adopt a Pet segment. And you are the pet that's up for adoption, <laughs> Felix. How are you guys doing? Hi, we're doing great, Jenny. Thank you so much. Um, we love being on the show. The dog that we had on here last week was adopted, that's and wonderful. so we continue our thanks to the show, our 100% success rate. That's great. And we hope for the same luck for this little guy. This is Felix, and uh, Felix. Hi. This is a three-year-old um, long-haired chihuahua who's just chilling right now. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, and he's ready to go home today to the Great. right family. He um, was previously adopted from the Humane Society of St. Lucie County out of our Fort Pierce shelter right. um, two years ago. And he, he was with uh, what we thought was a great family for him, but they had a new baby come into the house and I guess couldn't handle both That's a the lot. New, yeah. new baby and the dog. So Felix is back with us again okay. and uh, looking for this time what we hope will be a permanent forever home. Okay, great. How old is he? He's three now and uh, has been already was neutered the first time that he went out the door to the family. Okay. So he's, he's good to go. Um, he's very sweet natured, uh, calm as you can see, yeah, he's great. Uh, but playful too. I was with him. He's located at our Fort Pierce shelter currently and okay. I was uh, up there today and um, asked the staff there, who would you like me to take on TV today? And he was the first one they mentioned. Okay, okay great. So um, they want him to find a forever home soon. They said he's lovable, he gives kisses, he likes to sit in the lap. Very nice. Um, so a great, a great dog. Great. He nice. is a level two, which means we recommend kids ten and older because He's sometimes, smaller. yeah, sometimes okay. the smaller dogs tend to be a little excitable around very young right, children. Right. Oh, he's, yeah, he's good. Yeah, and the other, the only <laughs> other thing, the only negative I can, I can say, but it's important to mention, he was not housebroken in his previous home. Okay. So we need someone that understands that and is willing to give him that them. that important training. It okay. doesn't take long if you right. do it right and um, that's okay. the only that's well, the great. only downside if there is a downside okay. to this lovable guy. All right. Well you said he's at the Fort Pierce shelter. So he how is. do people what's the best way for them to get there and check him out? Okay, that address is one hundred Savannah Road in Fort Pierce, right uh, behind the Heathcote Botanical Gardens off of US-1. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and um, Or they can uh, check him out on our website at hsslc.org. Okay. If they'd like to call for more information, that number is 461 Zero six eight seven, and then just okay. push the button for the Fort Pierce shelter. Okay. Great. But I do recommend, as always, that people go in person to see Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Um, it's always possible that by the time you call and make the trip the next day, he that he be, may be adopted okay. by then. Okay. So. Well, that's great. Great information. Mm -hmm. And there's so many dogs and cats Ugh, that you have there, yeah. both shelters. And I understand right. you just got a recent influx of, of even more animals. Well, we did, and um, the, it's important for the public to know that the people that adopt the dogs I'm about to tell you about need to really have patience with these very special uh, canines. They're very young. Most of them are, <coughs> excuse me, very young poodle mixes. Okay. Um, and they're about one to two years old, most of them. Mm -hmm. They were found in a hoarding situation. There were 19 of them all together. And the person that had them did care for them. They were well fed, they okay. were healthy, um, for the most part clean, but they had spent their lives up until now just living in crates together, oh um, my gosh. three to four to a crate, uh, and with absolutely no socialization. So they're terrified. With humans. With humans. Okay. My They're goodness. terrified. They've not been walked on leashes. They they don't know how to interact with humans very well. Okay. Um, they have, as I said, just spent their lives in crates. So we are working really hard. Our shelter staff at both the Port St. Lucie and the Fort Pierce shelter working really hard to socialize them. Um, you know, just love them to death and right. let them understand that they don't need to be afraid of 
human beings. Right, right. Um, they'll need housebreaking training, I'm sure, because as I said, they've lived in crates their whole life. Right. Uh, but there are several available at um, the both the Port St. Lucie and okay. the Fort Pierce shelter. There are several we have yet to put up for adoption because we're still working with them. Okay. But they're beautiful, they're sweet, um, they're calm, they just are terrified and shake when you go near them, right, shake right. when you pick them up. Oh, but goodness. as I said, we're working with them and, mm -hmm. and so some of that behavior is already starting to improve big time. Okay, good, um, good. So they just need a lot of love and attention and, uh, and patience. You said what kind of breed were they? They're, most of them are poodle mixes. Okay. Um, so not all of them, but you'll, you'll they see. They're fairly small, are they about his size? Yeah, or? they're about his size, maybe just a tiny bit bigger okay. than him, but not, not much. Okay. Uh, curly hair, they are yeah. creams. Uh, there's a black one I saw this morning. Okay. Um, we have a couple of black ones and other ones are cream and tan right. colors. So okay. uh, wonderful dogs. They just need a good, secure, truly, truly forever right. home. Right, absolutely. So. And they're at both shelters then? Both yes. Fort Pierce and Port St. Lucie? Yes, and, and, and the ones that are available, Jenny, are uh, pictured on our website. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, and if anybody wants more information, they certainly can call okay. us and we'll be happy to tell them about wonderful. it. Wonderful, wonderful. Would they be available for foster <coughs> families as well, or do you even want to put them through that? Yeah, a foster family is a great idea because that's a wonderful way to socialize them. Sort the, of. the problem okay. for us right now is that there are so many of them that um, you know we don't want one foster family to take all of them of in course. at once. So uh, you know, and it's a good a good point to make. We always need more foster okay. families for situations just like this. Okay, great. So Okay, well thank yeah. you so much for being here. That's a lot of information <laughs> and again people can just go to your website then? Yeah. yeah, in fact there's information on there on even how to become a foster, a foster. if somebody's oh, interested good. in that. But the dogs as they become available will be pictured on our website and certainly our staff is knowledgeable about uh, the dogs I'm speaking about. And okay. So a phone call Okay. would answer any questions great, also. Great, All right, yeah. Felix, he's, uh, I don't know that we can get him off of the show right now. <laughs> I think he might want to stay. Rest. But we have to go, and thank you guys so much for being here. Around. Rita Hart from the Humane Society of St. Lucie County and also Felix of the Fort Pierce Shelter. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Jenny. And we'll be right back after this message.